Hello beautiful souls, thank you for joining me today for this beautiful full moon in Taurus lunar eclipse twin flame reading. I do hope you're all well and you're staying focused, believing and trusting in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you and I really do hope you're taking good care of yourself because you know this is a full moon and with full moons it you know everything is illuminated everything's highlighted within us and this is amplified because of the lunar eclipse so this full moon in taurus is on steroids so i do hope that you have this awareness and you're being kind to yourself um and giving this compassion understanding to yourself whatever emotions are rising within you what has been hidden will be revealed in this time so let's see what's going to come through so i'm going to use the immunology original deck first of all i'm going to pick two cards from this deck and then i'm going to go on to the immunology manifestation oracle deck then i'm going to go on to messages from your twin flame what they want to share and express in this energy of the full moon in taurus lunar eclipse and then i'm going to see what god the university angels want you to know thank you so much to all of you for the love and support that you give me i am so very grateful to each one of you what is this full moon in taurus lunar eclipse what is it bringing up for you what is it you're going to be releasing that no longer serves you and what is this full moon in Taurus bringing for you? Nice, clear message, please, for the beautiful soul that is watching. And know that, you know, whatever is going on with you, beautiful soul, your divine counterpart, your twin flame, is also working through the same thing because you're one energy. So let's see. The cards are a bit hyper, I must say. <laughs> okay, full moon in Taurus. What is it you would love <laughs> to share with us through this reading today. So two flipped out and we've got luck is on your side. New moon in Sagittarius, we've got far energy coming through, so you could be Sagittarius. Aries or Leo. And we've got Scorpio and the next new moon is in Scorpio and we're in Scorpio season now. So this water energy. So you also could be Pisces and Cancer. It's time to release negativity it's safe for you to release this negativity because luck is on your side your, your side is always on your side when you're coming from this place of unconditional love so i'm actually going to just take those cards because they wanted to come through and at the bottom of the deck is believe in the impossible because luck is always on your side so release this negativity so during this time um it is uncomfortable having to feel those negative deep emotions so around this time, there could be, from the ego's perspective, <laughs> um, that some negative things could be happening, but that's only for you to be triggered, to be activated, to be, to be able to release negativity, for you to actually go deep within and actually ask yourself, you know, what, you know, what is that? What is, what's hurting within me? Why am I responding like that? Why am I responding with fear? And it is always because we're not giving this unconditional love to ourselves and you're going to have this realization that when you respond with love luck is always on your side you do have that love that strength within you to always respond with love but we've got we've, we're so used to um because of the program the conditioning and because we've been disconnected from who we truly are it's, it's easier for us actually to respond um with this negativity with fear because we've been so lost so don't be fearful during this time everything that you receive whatever situation different things that could be happening to trigger you be open to them allow them in and know that you are safe um, so you could be feeling really emotional around this time fired up as well because we've got far energy where you're really wanting to take action also because you've had enough of this negativity you've had enough of feeling this struggle 
so the Taurus, this full moon and Taurus lunar eclipse is supporting you and bringing the negativity up because it's time to release it. So let's see what comes through with the Minonetry Manifestation Oracle deck. I'm releasing that negativity, that's that, you know, that stagnant energy that has been suppressed. And some of these um, energies, the different emotions that are coming up, you know, you're going to be really understanding why you feel like that. And it could really shock you and surprise you because it's been hidden for such a long time. Um, and, you know, if there has been where you've been feeling as if you're blocked and that you're not moving forwards on your journey, feeling these deep emotions, <laughs> feeling the blocks, because the blocks are only within you, is setting yourself free, which, which then <laughs> you will be always feeling that luck is on your side, love is always on your side. So what else is coming through for the beautiful soul that's watching? Nice clear message. Uh, new moon in Leo, it's time to shine. And you will be able to shine when you get rid of this negativity. And you have been releasing negativity. You have been releasing um, so many different emotions. But this is a process. It doesn't just happen in one day. So when we hear, oh, negativity, you know, release this negativity, release your fears, let go of your fears or whatever, we think, oh, well, we've been doing this for such a long time. <laughs> But we're learning about ourselves and our journey is unfolding all the time. And every situation is an opportunity to put love into the situation. But if there's some, ne if there has been this negativity that's lingering, it's going to be released. And you will be able to shine. It is a time to shine. And we've got fire energy again. So, and it's new moon in Leo. And first quarter moon in Aquarius, trust the universe. Yeah, when you're trusting the universe, you can shine. You know that luck is always on your side, that you're, you're, you've got that support. That it doesn't matter what decision you're making, whatever you're doing, you're protected. Um, so we've got Aquarius, which is air energy. So you could also be Gemini or Libra. And at the bottom of the deck, we have Libra again. Yeah, find balance. <laughs> Um, so full moon in Libra and the last new moon we had was Libra and that was a very powerful one because it's a solar eclipse and that, that, that created some huge shifts, beautiful shifts for us all and going through it again could have felt, you know, oh my goodness, what's happening to me or why has this happened and blah, blah, blah. But <laughs> through that, you have shifted and you've made movement on your journey. And it doesn't feel like it at the time. It feels as if we're stuck and we're going backwards. But actually, we're always moving forwards. And we're always being supported. So trust the universe no matter what is going on. And shine. <laughs> Let go of this ne negativity where you will be releasing this. And understanding that luck is on your side. And you could be seeing, you know, not just doom and gloom as I've just <laughs> said about this negativity. You could be seeing... Um, so much of your manifestations come into fruition and you're feeling like, yes, I'm really getting this. <laughs> I know that I'm being supported by the universe. I know that I'm, I'm actually trusting this now because of my outer world, um, because I'm having this awareness of what's going on internally. I'm trusting my inner compass. I'm trusting myself and um, I'm feeling good and I'm shining. <laughs> So let's see what comes through with the communication from your twin flame during this time. So I'm going to use messages from your other self. What is it your twin flame would love to share and express during this time of the full moon in Taurus lunar eclipse? What is it they want to ex you know, get off their chests? And this is you speaking to yourself as well. This is your true self. Nice clear message, please. Please trust me on top of the universe. There you go. Trust the universe. Trust me. And I know that that sometimes sounds as a bit a bit of a joke because you could have experienced so many different things on your journey where your twin flame hasn't shown up for you and they've let you down. But the deeper 
message to this is, is about you trusting yourself. And if you find it hard to trust yourself, that doesn't matter either, because when you're trusting the universe, when you're feeling this protection from the universe, you, 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 you send that vibration that you're safe out. You send that vibration out into the universe that you're safe. But it is safe to trust your twin. It's safe to trust yourself. <sighs> and your twin is saying, just please trust me through this time. My mask is coming down. It may not seem it to you or because you haven't heard anything from me. I'm, I am moving away from fear, from what no longer serves me. I'm releasing this negativity. My mask is coming down and you can, you can trust that because you know that your mask is coming down and this mask coming down, as I said, everything is a process and you are becoming more vulnerable and exposed because you're not allowing those love layers over your heart um, to protect you because you know that you, you're being um, protected by the universe and the mask is fear and you may not have, have been aware of it that you've been hiding behind this mask and it may have seen your divine counterpart your twin flame has just been hiding behind the mask but it's you that's been hiding behind the mask living your life in this place of fear and negativity because of what you've absorbed over um, time so trust that your twin's mask is coming down because your mask is coming down. You're learning to be comfortable with who you truly are, to be your true authentic self, to come from soul, not from mind. Um, I can't put into words how much I love you. I can't put into words how much I love you. There's, there are no words to express, describe, explain how much your twin and how much you actually love yourself. Um, you're beautiful inside and out, so they want you to know how beautiful you are inside and out. And this is what you're understanding now. You're accepting this. And you've always known that you're beautiful inside and out. But again, you get disconnected. You get unsure about yourself because um, we look outside of ourselves. We listen to what other people say. We, 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 we don't know what it's like to actually listen to ourselves, to trust ourselves. Because we get caught up in negativity and fear and we just move away from who we truly are your twin loves you so very much and that's the one thing that you do know but you get scared at times because of outer circumstances because what they're reflecting back to you but they're only reflecting back to you what's going on within you and the reason why you have that knowing that unexplainable love that's within you that you can't share with anybody is because it is your energy. It's you. So um, we, what we have is magic. What we have is magic. And at times it feels as if it's too good to be true, but it is true. What we have is so different and the reason why it's different is because it is a relationship of self that's why you feel this ultimate love that you can't put into words because it is love for you and your awakening <laughs> to love for yourself and to god's love was through this person coming into your life so let's see what comes through with what God, the universe, the angels want you to know from beautiful Liz. The message is through music, intuitive oracle for twin flames. What is it God, higher power, the universe want you to know during this time of the full moon in Taurus lunar eclipse? Nice, clear message. You're almost there. Don't give up on this journey or your twin flame. Keep shining. And this has come out recently. Your dream of being together is almost manifested. While the last details are being sorted out, keep going. You will see polar bears at this time as a symbol of perse perseverance and strength. And the reason why I'm laughing is yesterday evening before I went to sleep, before I put my phone down, <laughs> I saw polar bears. 
as an app ad, it was an advertisement or something on um instagram i'm sure so and i thought to myself then i wonder if that's going to come through in the readings that i do tomorrow and it has there you go <laughs> So you may be seeing polar bears the same as me, and that is about perseverance, keep going. And I know that that is very challenging at times when we're caught up in this negativity because we feel as if there's a carrot you know, and we're being, um, this is a whole joke and we're like being, there's carrots in front of us and we keep going and nothing is actually happening. Again, that's just coming from mind, ego. You are almost there and you can feel these shifts within you. You can feel... A difference within yourself um so don't give up during this time and it, when you're feeling these deep emotions releasing this negativity know it's all part of you you know your mask coming down by actually feeling them so trust um, and know how beautiful you are and how loved you are and at the bottom of the deck is you are on a roller coaster ride and you can't get off yeah you can't get off and you don't know where to run you don't know where to go to escape and before you was able to escape because you would do something to distract yourself and on the, being on this journey you've been plonked on this journey <laughs> um and there's no escaping it there really isn't so it, it is up and down we have the highs and the lows and what you're learning is actually to just go with the flow and to come from this place of just being a neutral soul and moving away from duality you will have highs and lows twists and turns and get thrown upside down but it's all part of the process to let go and enjoy the ride you are safe loved and never alone there you go and i said all that before i turned that card over you are loved and you are safe. And when we feel safe, when we we're really trusting, we know that luck is on our side and we shine because the universe has always got our back. So I really do hope that this has just given you a bit of insight, gives you new, giving you the heads up about this full moon in Taurus lunar eclipse. It is very important that you are kind and gentle with yourself around this time and to listen to your body and to rest. Don't really push yourself hard and get caught up in chaos and conflict. Be with you, not the negativity. And always respond if you are caught up in some kind of conflict or something's triggered you, respond with love, breathe. Um, if you would like extra support on your awakening journey, all the information about the services I offer is in the description box down below. I do do phone consultations through WhatsApp. I do private readings for Twin Flames and I do the DM to DF reading also, if that is of interest. Enjoy this part of your journey and be grateful for this full moon in Taurus lunar eclipse of what it is bringing for you, what it is actually doing for you because it is very powerful and it is moving you to where you're meant to be. Um, and remember to stay focused, to believe and trust in that deep inner knowing, that unexplainable love that is within you. And if you haven't subscribed already, don't forget to subscribe, like and share, because it really does help my channel grow. That's if you feel connected to me and you understand me. And I'm sending you so much love, my support, my strength and light. And I love you so very much. See ya. Oh. What's your soul say?